Hello guys, it's Bass here. I'm going to be showing you how to get Minecraft VR on both Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition. It's actually a pretty easy process. And I'm just going to dive right into it. So there's a few things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need a VR ready PC. And that could be something with a 1650 graphics card. My computer has a 1650, uh, like Ryzen 5 and at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can do it with less. You can do it with 8 but it just, it's just better if you have a little bit more because you are going to have to dedicate a lot of RAM to Minecraft Java Edition. Uh, for, but for Bedrock, it doesn't really matter too much. And you're also going to want uh, Oculus or just PC VR, any, any type of VR system that you, know, you can actually connect to your computer. And it would also be really helpful if you have Steam VR. Uh, Steam VR is very easy to install. You just make a Steam account and search up Steam VR and install it. It's pretty easy. So. And now once you have VR set up and Steam VR downloaded, you also want an Oculus Link cable or any type of link cable. You can also do it wirelessly. However, it's better if you have a link cable because it depends on Wi-Fi wirelessly. All right, and once you have all of that, uh, let's actually dive into it. Now first, I am gonna go pretty quick through this, but anyways, I'm gonna do Java Edition first. So first you want actually have Java Edition installed and bought. Uh, I don't know if it works with Cracked, but if you have an Oculus or if you have any type of VR, I'm assuming you can afford Java, $20. All right, you're gonna have to want regular Java edition installed. As you can see, I have many builds of it. Uh, and these are the VRs. Just have regular uh, Minecraft installed. Then you're gonna want to go to vivecraft.org. Vivecraft is a mod for Minecraft that turns it into VR. Uh, the link will be in the description. And as you can see, there's multiple versions. There's 17, 16, 12, there's even 1.18. You can download any of these versions, it doesn't matter. However, I'm gonna download 1.18. And you're gonna make sure it's the VR installer. Now, once you've downloaded that, it should have been pretty quick, it's not that big of a file. Uh, you click the bottom left, or you could find it in your downloads and just click. As w once you have it opened, you'll see this. You want to keep this directory the same at all times, .minecraft, because that's where your Minecraft is. And since it's 1.18, you can't install with Forge. However, with earlier versions, there is Forge, so you can click this. And if you wanted a mod pack, you just select where the mod pack is. I will show that in a different video. But anyways, you want to make sure to allocate half of your RAM. In my case, that would be 8 gigs of RAM. Or at, or at minimum 6 gigs. To be fair, you don't need too much RAM. You could just be fine with 6. However, the more RAM, the better. You can name it whatever you want. I'll call it VR 1.18 because I like to name my stuff. And you don't have to touch anything else. And all you have to do is press install. However, make sure this Minecraft launcher is not running. Now open up your Minecraft launcher once again. And as you can see, it's fully functional. It's, it's installed and that was really easy. Now, all you have to do is connect your Oculus or whatever. I have an Oculus, so that's why I say Oculus. Whatever VR headset you have to your PC, link it and run Steam VR once you link it and just access it, just run the game and it'll, it should pop up on your VR just fine. I'll show examples of it working later, but now let's do Bedrock Edition. So Bedrock Edition is actually much simpler than Java Edition. Uh, since they, they kind of have VR kind of built in, but kind of not. Uh, I'll show you why. Anyways, so you want to make sure you have Bedrock bought and installed. Uh, again, it's the same price as Java, it, to each their own. And you already see I, I already have the shortcut here, but let me just delete the shortcut so I can show you all. Alright, so in order to in uh, have Bedrock run on VR, since you can't just run it normally, you want to right click anywhere on your desktop. You want to create a new shortcut and in this shortcut area you're going to want to paste this which will be in the description click next you could name it i'm just going to call it uh bedrock vr once again and then hit finish and it should pop up like this if it does not pop up like this if it pops up like a like a world map which it did for me the first time just wait a little bit and it will turn into minecraft if you have Bedrock Edition installed. And that's literally all you have to do for Bedrock Edition VR. Very simple. Now I'm going to show the games actually running. 
Now, it's impossible for y'all to tell, but I am on VR now. Uh, I forgot to mention this, but have just have VR set up. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, there's other videos on it, so I'm not really explaining that. I'm only explaining how to get Minecraft and stuff. Anyways, now that I'm on VR, all we have to do is uh, go to Java Edition or Bedrock, but I'm going to show you Java Edition first. And I'm going to load up 1.12 Forge regular, so that way... Uh, I know it fully works. I know you know what I'll show 1.18. Okay, so and as y'all can see, I'm on VR. Uh 1.18 is kind of finicky because it's brand new and it's not perfect yet. Uh but yeah, I am on VR. Uh so that's why it's kind of laggy. However, 1.12 and 1.16 and 17 work perfectly fine. So I would recommend earlier versions. But 1.18 is still kind of in the works. But as I was saying, anyways, now I'm gonna show Bedrock Edition. And for Bedrock Edition, it's the same thing. Just click this, access this, uh, give it one second. And as y'all can see, I'm now in VR. Uh, Minecraft will, like, Bedrock Edition will record in a square. Uh, I don't really know why. However, if you're on Bedrock VR, you can join servers and stuff, so it's kind of cool. Uh, so if you really want to do that, uh, go ahead. It's <laughs> it's pretty fun. But yeah, this is how you get both Minecrafts in VR. Very straightforward and very easy. And I hope this was helpful. And I hope y'all have fun with whatever y'all are going to do in Minecraft. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoy. And yeah, see y'all.